Hey guys, uh, so today I got in three knives, um, two off eBay and one off CollectorKnives.net, uh, which is, by the way, one of my favorite places to buy knives, so I can't recommend him enough. Uh, this is the first one I'll be showing you I got off eBay. It's a 1977 uh, K6231 one half. Um, that would be the pattern number. And it's got nice and firm pools on it, which I like. That pen blade's nice and stout. Blades aren't in too bad of shape. You know, they're a little stained up. So they could make a they could make a nice user. Um it's Del Rin. Uh the plastic, I think it's how you say it. Not bone. And the shield is not pinned in. I believe it's glued. So that's a little disappointing. You get into those later 70 years, and depending on the handle material, you may or may not have a shield uh, that's pinned. So, you know, eBay, it's a little hit or, hit or miss. But down in here, you know, not not too bad rust. can be cleaned out pretty easily. Um, you know, blade's in good shape, so I'm excited to make this into a, a user knife. And... You know, it's nice and tight uh, with the liners and the back springs. So, you know, not bad. Got it at a good price, so I'm happy with this knife. I'm um, just a little disappointed in that shield. Just my uh, my uh, preference. So the next one I got is a let's see, Case XX USA. And that's gonna be sixty four. To 69. Nice bone handles. Uh, see if we can. I don't know how well you can see that. It's kind of reddish color. Uh, pinned in shield. I don't know if I've already said that. Um, really like the character of these old knives that have been used with the nice even patina going. Um, that really just kind of calls out to me. Nice little pin blade. You know, decent pulls on this. And I was kind of surprised at the size. I didn't think it would be as big as it is. But it is rusted down in there, so that'll, it, uh, it, it can be cleaned out uh, fairly easy. Might take a little effort, but I'm happy with this purchase. And the centering on it is good. It has It has blade play on both blades. But not a ridiculous amount. It has what I would consider acceptable blade play. Um, below acceptable blade play on a traditional slip joint. Um, the other jack, the 77 jack, uh, this is kind of solid. So you don't always expect that uh, to last from these older knives. Usually they have blade play. Uh, let's see, the last one I got would be the CollectorKnives.net Shat and Morgan. Heritage. Uh, let's see, I believe it's the first run of the Heritage series uh, single spear blade. And I've been wanting a single spear blade for a while now, just because it's, um, you know, back in the day this was the knife to have. And so when I opened it out of the box, I was pretty happy with it. Um, and then I open the blade, and it has just the weakest back spring that I think I've ever worked with on a traditional, um, especially, um, for my company like them. Now, I, I read somewhere, I read from two different places on blade forms that these were supposed to uh, one said weak pools, and then one said um, firm, kind of like a Swiss Army knife. So I wasn't really knowing what to expect. So I'm not I'm not disappointed because I knew beforehand that it could be weak, but I didn't know it was going to be as weak as it is. It's a good thing this knife has a half stop because if you hit it on anything, it's just going to close right on your fingers. So good half, good functional half stop feature on there. What makes me disappointed in this knife is the fact that that shield has a... Now the camera's not picking it up, the gap is 
pretty noticeable in person. Um, but yeah, it's nice and tight on the upper hand side of the knife, the shield. But then just on the bottom, it's got a huge gap at the swell. And that kind of bugs me because this was like a this was like a seventy some dollar knife with shipping. And then let's see, take out a twenty dollar old USA old timer knife, and that shield is glued in, and it's you know tight around the tight around the scale. And then a company like Shadow Morgan sends out a knife with a gap right there. That's that's disappointing for me. Um, it it is nicely pinned in. But that gap is just kind of a buzz kill. Um, springs are nice though. So nothing to complain about the springs. So I'm not sure how I feel about this knife. You know, I think I can live with that. I mean, it doesn't look bad on camera to me. But in person it's just atrocious. Um, I believe these are knives to be used and not collect. Um, you know, some knives you collect, some knives you use. I think this is more of a knife to be used, but kind of hesitate with the weaker back spring. Um, but other than that, the wood, rosewood, is really nice. So, uh, kind of mixed about mi mixed feelings about this knife. Um, that's all I got, guys. Thank you.